In the crate behind me sits Stronghand Tools Rhino Table and a bunch of other Stronghand goodies. I've been dying to see what's inside these boxes, so let's get them opened up. In this box here, everything looks laid out really well wrapped. We got the instructions here. This here, what is this? This looks like a box of accessories, uh, casters, that sort of thing. So pretty excited to keep going, but everything looks really just beautifully wrapped. I mean, nicely, I don't know if that's powder coat or paint, but man, it is beautiful. So keep it moving. Nothing lightweight in this box, man. And all this stuff is heavy. <laughs> Check this out. Look at that top. Wow, that is beautiful. So without a doubt, time to dig into the directions and see how this all goes together. The directions say that we have to build this upside down and I should have two or three people to help me. Well, that's not happening. Cue the angry music and somebody get me a hammer. So far it's going really well. That table was in that box, super nice. They got it, just, I mean, it's just crazy lubed up. It's good and oily. No chance of rust or anything like that with the way they have that set up, so. Let's get some legs and sides on it, see how this goes. I've developed a strategy to get this table flipped over. Check it out. I got the all-purpose garage crane. Some call it an engine hoist. It's just our general house and chop all-purpose heavy lifter. <laughs> That's incorporated. Around the other side, we got the floor jack out because we got to get it up high enough so we can get the legs of the engine hoist underneath the table. And just in case it all goes terribly bad, we have the GoPro running, documenting everything, because should it all go bad, at least the video will be worth something. <laughs> Pray for me, people. It's about to go down. <laughs> has landed check this out oh I'm so impressed with this now that it's down on its wheels it rolls around so smooth on this concrete floor I mean granted I have a nice surface here but this thing just glides across the floor next thing I got to do is degrease it look at that oil 
they have on the top of that to protect it from rusting in delivery. So I gotta get it degreased, and then we'll get the fixturing kit out here, the 66 piece kit, lay it out, see what's in that. I'm excited. I got the 66 piece fixturing kit that comes with the table, all cleaned up, it's degreased, laid out nice behind me. Let me flip the camera around, I'll show you guys what comes with the table. So there it is, that's all the pieces you get. We have these little magnets and stuff, different types of pins, you know, clamps, all your good stuff to get you going. This will get you started off real nice. After a couple crazy days outside the shop, I'm back in the shop right now and I have one last thing to do with this rhino table. I know, how is it not done already? How am I not welding things on this sucker already? It's a good question. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Just bear with you, chop for a little bit, will you? Now, there is a plasma section that hangs off the side of this table right here. It folds up and the whole bit. I don't know how all that works. It extends the table. You can plasma cut on it. It's in the box right right there, and that is what I am doing next. Now that I got all the parts and pieces up on the table, I just need to back out these three bolts here, slip a plate behind it, and everything else is just gonna slap into place. Just check it out. It's happened, the Rhino table is finally done. The plasma section is all hooked up and check it out, it is cool. Look at that. Oh man, it's flush to the top of the table. So even if you weren't doing plasma cutting, you just needed some more space on your table while you were working. There you go, you flip that up and you'd be set and ready to go. It flips up or down with these little handles. There's one on each side, you loosen it up, pull it in the position you need it in and you're set and ready to go, look at that. Oh, that flush mount is just sweet. And then I got all the tools on the side over here. Everything has a place. We got the bins for the little fixturing pieces. It's just awesome all around. And the top, I don't think I mentioned the top enough. This is 5 eighths thick. Mean beefy. I'm going to have to buy another table. And you can flip it if you get this, like, you know, messed up over a bunch of years of use. Maybe you got a bunch of slag on or something like that. Had a mishap with the grinder. You can actually flip the thing over and work from the other side. So that's pretty darn awesome. And then it rolls around on these casters like it doesn't weigh 500 pounds. They're just beautiful casters. Oh, man. And you got room for your plasma cutter or your welder on the side over here. Some more room for tools. There's some shelving around the other side, but overall, Stronghand Tools has got this rhino cart figured out just right. Well, that's it. That's a wrap on the rhino cart build, and I have to tell you, I am super impressed with this. It went together easy. It's really well thought out. It's perfect for a small shop like mine. It's compact with the Foley plasma section, stay out of the way. But I'm thinking even if you have a bigger place where you're setting up your welders with workstations, this might be a rock solid option too. Um, all the fixturing works with the Build Pro tables, so anything you might buy for this, if you expand later, it would hop over and make the jump with you. All in all, Stronghand got it right with the Rhino cart. I am super impressed. I almost forgot the most important part. Guys, thank you for watching along. If you made it this far, I super appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave me some comments in the comments section. I would love to hear from you. In the description, I'm gonna put some more links to the Rhino cart right through Stronghand so you can see how the fixturing works, get some more details, that sort of thing. And well, guess we'll catch you on the next video.